Hello, it's Elder here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about this new tactical pen that I just received from the Atomic Bear, and it is called the Stealth. I'm a big fan of tactical pens, and I have gravitated to the Atomic Bear's line over the years, and for one main reason, I feel that their pens are definitely a cut above the rest. Today I want to be talking to you about this new Stealth pen that they just added to their lineup, and if you're interested in learning more about this new Stealth pen, Stay tuned. You may be wondering what exactly is a tactical pen? Well, let's say in layman's terms, which is basically the way that I communicate, it is a pen that is built out of specific materials and includes specific features that when utilized in a self-defense application or scenario, it will enable you to be able to perform much better than if you just had to handle this encounter empty-handed. As I mentioned, there are a few key features, and some of the pens out there on the market have a bunch of features that they include, and other ones are just relatively basic. Once again, depending on your needs, and of course, where you plan on carrying this pen when you're out and about. Another cool feature about tactical pens is that they are a pen. They're a writing utensil. So certain areas and locations where you wouldn't be able to bring your standard, let's say, self-defense tool, most of the time, you'll be able to have your tactical pen fly under the radar. So let's get into some more detail about the Atomic Bear's newest member, which is this Stealth Pen. Now, right from the unboxing, one of the first things that I look for is how does it feel in the hand? And this pen is extremely ergonomic. It feels great. It feels like it belongs there. It feels like I can do stuff with it, and not sit there and feel like it's uh, foreign to me. It feels like a pen, but a pen that you can actually hold on to. It is made of this polymer construction, which is very cool. Uh, it reminds me of the same material that my Glock is made out of. So it's super lightweight, but also built to last. Getting into some other features of this pen. Uh, the tip itself has what you would call a DNA catcher. And also a business end here, where if you do get struck with that end, it's not going to feel good. On the other side, there's actually a removable cap. So you can pull this cap off and underneath it reveals a glass breaker, which one, once again can be used as a glass breaker, can be used as a skull crusher, once again, depending how you pick up your pen. But the cool thing about this is if you do pick it up off the ground, you have two business sides that you could work with once the cap is removed. The pen does have a clip, a retaining clip, so if you choose to carry it in your pocket, whether it's your pants pocket, whether it's your shirt pocket, it'll be able to stay in that location. And it's also movable. You can just unscrew the top and then just set it to the location where uh, it works best for you. Tighten it down and you are good to go. Another feature that stands out to me about the Stealth Pen is its bolt action. So I'm able to basically just utilize one hand, one thumb, and be able to reveal the writing utensil or the ink cartridge to be able to write. And at the same time, be able to retract it just by utilizing this bolt action. Very, very cool. The pen itself writes extremely well. Uh, you can use a Parker refill or many standard uh, uh, cartridges that are out there that'll fit into this model. So whether you want black ink, blue ink, a uh, bunch of different options out there, depending on what works for you. But it's nice to know that you do have that versatility and options with this pen. As I mentioned, it does have this top cap here that when it is removed, it reveals the glass breaker. But when it is affixed, and let's say I have the other business end down here, which is, uh, let's say, the DNA catcher or the, uh, the pain giver, as I would like to say, because just by touching my finger, trust me, that does not feel good. But by having this cap up here, it really feels good. There's a little bit of a give. My thumb feel, fits perfectly right on it and is able to be retained on there. So there's a lot of good retention, which is important if you plan on throwing strikes with your tactical pen. So once again, it feels comfortable, very natural movement. And one last feature that I really appreciated that the Atomic Bear threw in is the fact that you can remove this bottom piece, take it out, take out your pen, ink cartridge, spring, and now you have a training tip that you could easily affix to this pen, put it in there, just screw it into there, and now you have a great trainer and at the same time, you're not losing anything else as far as dexterity or handling because of the fact that you're using your real pen to actually train with. So when you are throwing strikes and training with your partner or even training with your heavy bag or whatever other uh, 
tools that you utilize for your training, you will cause a lot less damage, if any at all, to your equipment and of course to your training partner, which they will certainly appreciate. So this feature alone is something that's going to make me gravitate to this pen, probably more so than other pens that I uh, utilize on a daily basis now, just because of the fact that I have this training feature, which will be great for me to work with my students on, and of course, my own training and personal development. So something that I haven't seen in any other tactical pen. And if you are like me and you like to train and hone in your skills, this is definitely an option that you need to look into. So bottom line, if you're looking for a tactical pen that has some serious options and features that I have yet to see in many of the other tactical pens on the market, definitely take a look at this Stealth Pen by the Atomic Bear. I know that this pen will serve me well for many years to come, and if you add one to your collection, I'm sure it'll do the same for you. This is Helder. I hope you found this review helpful.